A warm welcome everyone to the YouTube channel of Amdapali University. Today we have with us the honor to host Mr. Hemang Pandey sir who is the technical program manager at Amazon Bracket USA. Good afternoon sir. Good afternoon. So uh, I am uh, Madhav Shangdar and I am a student here at BTEC first year. So I will be, uh, I am having the honor to host sir today. So sir my first question to you is uh, that uh, when uh, someone enters this field of computer science which is growing every day and having new fields uh, emerging on a daily basis it is easy to get overwhelmed mm -hmm. so how does one stay calm and, and decide what field is best for him or her i think the one of the most important thing is you need to research so as i said you know uh, even in the lecture today that what you want to do is something you need to decide because there are, there's a lot of things your seniors, your teachers can help you in segregating what your, uh, you know, what, what you think is your uh, strength. So make sure that you are focusing on your strength, not your weaknesses. For example, if I am not great at coding or if I am not great at quickly understanding how API stacks work, then maybe it's better for me to jump into something else, you know, which is, uh, I won't say easier but it's more accustomed to my interests. Yes. So, yeah, so as I said, right, you need to make sure you are focusing on something which is your strength versus your weaknesses. And that's how you can, so if you've got 10 things and you think like there are four things which interest you, two things you can make your strength and you understand better, then focus on those two things versus the rest of the eight things. Thank you. And sir, my next question would be that uh, in your long list of experiences, I'm pretty sure you must have had a lot of ups and downs. So, what kept you motivated? What kept you going through it all? Oh, that's a very, very difficult question. So, yeah, there have been a lot of ups and downs, but I think in three idiots, right? There is one saying that uh, you don't run after uh, money, money or yeah. anything else, right? You run after excellence. So, the important thing is that you run after what you think is the idea of excellence. Hi, sir. Yes, sir. So what do you think is your idea of excellence or just run after the fact that knowledge drives excellence. So knowledge, you need to make sure that you, you're developing that knack of uh, imparting knowledge to yourself. It can be through teachers, it can be through textbooks, it can be through internet, it can be through uh, seniors, it can be through interactions that you have with you know, uh, technology people or professional people outside. But more, more important thing is that uh, when you're focusing on something, make sure that you are imbibing a lot of knowledge, which helps you drive excellence. So yeah, for me, uh, what has kept me motivated is that any field that I have chosen uh, to you know, embark my journey on, I've tried to get to a point where I can uh, gather excellence through my knowledge. So I'll give you an example. So when I was in uh, Cisco and at that point of time I was overwhelmed with a lot of uh, with, with a lot of technology that I could not understand. So what I used to do was I used to get into the logs for example, right? For example, computer generates some logs or the voice over IP system that I used to work on it used to generate a lot of logs. I used to get into it, deep dive into it and understand because networking was my passion, right? So I would get into those logs, understand how packets work, understand how things work, and that's how I would drive excellence. Similarly, in, you know, today in uh, the new field that I am in, which is quantum computing, uh, I'm kind of in a similar situation. I'm better off right now, but uh, you know, I did not know anything about quantum computing, and I slowly and steadily started learning about it, reading about quantum computing, how things work, how com quantum computers work, how can I make uh, what I'm doing better, right? And that's, that is my idea of excellence, making sure that, you know, you're imbibing yourself with enough knowledge so that you can have the right path of excellence. And sir, uh, my next question would be that uh, you were the pass out of the first batch of engineering from a college. And well, now after all these years, our college has grown a lot and it has become a university of its own. So uh, how was your experience today? And how do you think the college has changed? So, I mean, the experience was amazing because, you know, these, these are literally the blogs that I have, you know, I've, I used to run down to, right? For example, in this particular blog, we used to have robotics competition. There we used to have uh, like coffee and 
and you know like green tea and lemon tea and all the time and you know, we would just have like our discussions here be it uh, any fests like spandhan or abhinandan and all those different fests that you have so yeah, we used to have our planning meetings here and we used to play uh, a lot of football the food the, the field has definitely become smoother is what i would say and, and there's a lot of cricket that you've played here but yeah i mean overall i think infrastructure wise uh, this university has really improved a lot and i think the the, the main aim of uh, the infrastructure improvement also is to make sure that the the students they get an environment wherein they can easily share thoughts have that communication uh, going and make sure that you know whatever they're learning they're able to discuss and they're able to you know like implement it in their not just exams but even in their lives so yeah that has changed and so my last question would be that uh, uh, for all the other alumni that how they could connect to the university and to their peers and other alumni of this university so i think one of the important things about or important aspects of that questions answer is that the the team the alumni connect team here at amrapali you need to do a bit of work on and find where most of your students are right based on that you can start chapters so for example if you've got like 5000 people in bangalore yes. you can start a bangalore chapter right or if you've got like 1000 uh, people somewhere in the us or somewhere in europe uh, different parts of the world or in different parts of india you can start a local chapter and then you can assign a lead right mm -hmm. who can then take the responsibility uh, of you know maybe inviting all the students uh, all the ex students right and then uh having like a meet up of some some sorts and then you know just carrying that conversation out and you know just sending those videos back so that you can know the the students here can know that you know there are people out there who are ready to help you and ready to impart you know either help from a from a technical standpoint from a, a professional standpoint making you understand things if possible and then just having like make that entire uh, feedback loop you know going so that they can connect back to their uh, alumni so yeah chapters is what i would recommend thank you so much sir for giving us your valuable time and i'm pretty sure this session will be helpful to a lot of people and a lot of juniors thank you so much all right cool thank you